Yo, what's good, y'all? So, today we are actually in the crib getting ready to build something out. Um, don't mind the air conditioner on. Yeah, it's hot. I know the I know the editor, you know what I'm saying? And he said it's cool for me to go ahead and keep this AC on. There might be music on. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, dude, it's pretty hot outside right now. I think it's like over 100 or something degrees. But whatever, because I'm indoors with the AC on, so it doesn't feel too bad. But what I'm going to be doing today for you guys, as well as for myself, is actually building a glove box. So what a glove box is, is actual area in which I can keep a sterile environment. I finally started playing around with mushrooms, so I decided to go ahead and make myself a glove box. What it does is keep it to where I now know that nothing can actually contaminate another jar or whatever it is that I'm going to be using inside this uh, inside this here tote. You also hear of these things being called a still air box. Uh, basically, it's the same thing except there's no gloves involved. You just cut holes and you can put your hands in the holes and do your work in there. I decided I was going to go ahead and do the glove box just because uh, it seems like there's a lot of gloves needed in this venture. <laughs> and I am always putting gloves down and losing gloves so I figured it would be best for me just to kind of have gloves just there everything in one area and I don't have to worry about it. Another really cool thing about making a glove box or a still air box is that now it takes the place for a laminar flow hood. So to me it looks like it's the most priciest thing um, to actually get started in growing mushrooms on a commercial level whether it be big or small. Uh, so I'm going to start here and if I like growing mushrooms then we'll think about uh, scaling up to the laminar flow hood. All that being said y'all, let's get involved. So these are the things that you're going to need. I'm using my Dremel, silicone, some gloves. You want to make sure too that these gloves y'all can actually go across or as far across the uh, the toe as you possibly as they possibly can. Uh, that's kind of important. I got a couple PVC uh, rings. I'm not exactly sure what these are. It's actually but, you know, get my hands through here fairly well. That's the whole thing. I didn't want too much resistance. Is that? Also, I'm going to be using, I think this is a four inch hole saw. Yeah, this is my four inch hole saw. This is actually bigger than four inches. But I'm just going to use this to get me started. And then I'm going to use my Dremel to carve out the rest. Yeah, so this is the cool thing. The other day, I actually sterilized bird seed. I just put it back inside the toe. Um, we're actually going to get ready to use these later on. So, yeah, we're going to check this out. I have three more jars that I need to make anyway. You don't need the towel. I just put the towel in there because those jars were really hot. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is mark where my holes are going to be. And what I need to do is stand and keep, or bend my arms at right about 90 degrees. Actually, I need to get a marker. Like, uh, that one. And then Alright. So we're right about there. There are better adhesives out there for this that you can actually probably use in conjunction with this, but to do it at a Home Depot made it sound like this would work pretty good, so I'm gonna go with this by itself. Kind of quick acting stuff, so I'm not trying to hang out here too long. What this is doing too is helping to seal in the uh, the unit. I've seen people do this stuff, like I said, with just this hole, you know? Yeah, sure. Might as well just go ahead and make this thing decent, or as decent as I can. Now that I actually did go with the, uh, the PVC, because it's a little bit lighter, and it's not bending in the walls of my unit.
You want to make sure that you're on the right hand so that your gloves are facing down. Glove box. Some low key Rocky Dennis type jump off, you know what I'm saying? Get some grain. If I gotta, you know, break some grain up, throw it inside. Um, yeah, I'm feeling good about it, man. Ta da! Yeah. Talk to y'all. How do I get out of this thing, though?